you doing here on my desk? You are not allowed on this premises. This is very, very embarrassing. I am having my new mention guest who is in this building and you are here right now. This is so inconvenient and you should have thought twice about it, but apparently you just, you know, just, just you know, okay. I don't think that you know. Okay. No, you're not. I spoke to Susan about it and guess what? You're not. Because your time is done. Ever since the day I stopped taking Cinecot gummies, then this, no, you're not going to go back to doing that, okay? Go in the kitchen and eat up the broth and put the cappelletti in, stir it around. Okay, I'm not going to be part of the manipulative copycat, you know, trying to be the teacher and the student's game, afterwards. okay? Because you are not yet a teacher. And you're trying to be, I could do the exact same thing that you're doing. The day that you get out of college and get employed as a teacher, that's the day that I'm going to have for this stuff. You can uh, go um, on the Callison's train. He will really welcome you in with open arms. I won't. Goodbye. I have you know, really nothing to say to that. I really don't have any words that are positive or neutral to say to that. Because, you know, you're just, you know, ridiculous. Okay. You need to go on vacation. And you need to stop. Okay. what you're wearing. You need to get that change into something reasonable. Fall. You know what fall means? That doesn't mean what you're wearing right here. Okay? That's for summer. And I can remember when you said that there was a day in December last year where it was warm enough to wear shorts. Are you kidding me? If you're down south and if you're at the equator, better yet, or Louisiana or Mexico or someplace, then that's what makes sense. But, uh, no. again, that was why. So you need to be aware of, you know, what you're doing and you need to stop and really, really think about that. Because you are only making it worse, right? if you are going to continue doing what you're doing. We're not going to be allowed to do that. And I'm going to have my say so, and I accepted it the first time, but since I lost respect and patience with that because he really just completely disrespected me, then, you know, it's kind of also the same for you. And that does not even begin to explain, you know, the fact that it starts with the time that you were born. If it was somebody that I knew for a long time and really, really liked and was a close friend or family member of mine, if it was somebody who's really famous and high and, you know, and, you know, in the, you know, movies and shows, then absolutely, absolutely. If that's the facade that you're putting on, and if you're going to have that kind of, you know, if you're going to say such things and have that kind of, you know, attitude that you're having, then just, you know, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna put up with it anymore, okay? So, you need to leave, and that's
that's it. You're done. Or, you can do me a favor and go down there to that building and become the head of that building, and it will completely change around. But you I'm not gonna take you seriously. No one's gonna take you seriously in the real world until you graduate. Okay? Bottom line. I have 2020 healing, and I can heal you talking to him. I said to leave the premises. What part of that did you not understand? That doesn't mean talking to my second-in-command head curator. That means leave and don't come back here again. So I think you have to overheal that. Actually... Just a couple of things. Number one, you need to take that thing off your face, okay? Because those are not allowed here. You're not allowed to wear face covering, so it's a cementing or any other cementing, okay? Take it off. Put it on the table, and then I want you to grab um, just a spray uh, thing, you know, just one of those sprayers. Get one of those refreshing sprayers, and, you know, you know, you can, you know, it's really, really fresh and fragrant, so I don't care if you do it here or outside. That is, if you're here for longer than a day. If you're here for, you know, a whole day, or just half of it, or just a chunk of it, or most of it, two hours then uh, you're going to um, use the drum killer, okay? So that's what I need, you know, just so that we can, you know, have a normal connection, you know, and that I can, you know, talk to you and we'll really get to know you and, you know, take you, you know, seriously, okay, and really bond, okay? You know, I'm not willing it because, you know, I don't need to because, we have things in place, okay? Uh, now, I don't want to, you know, give you any choice or ultimatums, and I really, really feel bad for saying these things to you as the very first things I ever say to you, but I don't want you to squander this great opportunity to be here, okay? By, you know, if you want to, you know, come in pretending like this is not the Queen of England's palace, and so be it, and if you want to, you know, um, you know, we'll keep that on and not take it off, then, well, you can leave. You can leave. And you can come back in the right and the normal way, okay? What is going on outside of the world is messed up. What is going on here? is normal. You need to understand we are detached from what's going on out there. Okay? So you need to detach yourself from that. You know if I wake up on January first of next year and if you were to talk to me about this then I'll talk about it like it doesn't exist. I'm not in denial of it, but roughly can you had to put up with it for too long. Sick and tired of having to address it and deal with it. You can take it with you and leave. But 
и вам не летел. I just want to apologize on behalf of the whole Nintendo. I'm sorry that I said those things to Joel. I, you know, I really, I, I, you know, I really do feel shameful that I did that. Uh, probably wasn't the first impression, but You know, it's not my fault. You know, if, you know, she chooses to come in here like that, then, you know, that's a problem, you know, the hers. That's an issue of hers. Okay. So I'm, you know, this is my mention. I'm not going to be a yes person. I'm not going to be passive and something that I do not like or I can't stand. I, I will, you know, speak up about it, and, you know, I will be assertive about it, and I will deal with it. Otherwise, what am I doing here as an Edmonton leader? You know, when opportunity knocks, the universe gives you a chance to say or do something, then you better take advantage of it. That's what I've been, you know, teaching you is that, you know, is, you know, self-advocacy, you know, really, you know, you know, again, being assertive. I wasn't being past, uh, aggressive, but I wasn't being passive either. Okay, there's a happy medium. Now, we're just going to wait a couple minutes, and then we'll begin. Oh, for the love of Pete. I completely forgot about my snack that I put up in the bowl. to, but I was feeling a certain way, and I couldn't, you know, couldn't, you know, can't focus well and be comfortable, but I don't want any criticisms on that. This is a house, okay? The only person who should be judging myself on that is my own voice in my mind. I don't want to antagonize any sign, but you know that astrology is about having compassion, and my moon's in Virgo this year, so you need to have compassion for me in that kind of way. Okay? So I just need all of you to cut me some slack on that. I don't want to play the Abbey card, but you're not going to tell me and how to do my job and have that kind of tone in your voice, kind of that cocky, you know, sassy, smart tone in your voice. That's unacceptable and it's really rude. So, it's really important that when you are about to say things that you think about them before you say them, or you judge people on things. Okay, and you're doing it again by talking back to me. You know, it's not going to happen. So, just... Don't think that you're really um, not giving a good first impression and 
you put this embarrassment on yourself. That's not my problem. That's not my prerogative. I'm not responsible for what someone else chooses, but here, you know, you, you're going to follow the rules, which are very, very simple, and I have absolutely no idea why. But just some are just so dumb that they can't follow. It's simple things. Just don't trust me and feel insecure and uncomfortable. I would feel the same way. But I would go along with that. Okay. I would have really liked to. I really would have. But didn't work out that way. That's how the cookie crumbled. Okay. Now it's November nineteenth. And I want to welcome Cheryl, um, Cheryl Burke, um, you know how do you say it, Cheryl or Cheryl? Cheryl, okay. And I thought that your last name was Burke Key. I knew someone uh, a long time ago who last name was Burke Um, she was a teacher of mine. So, on this day in history, so just, you know, a little background before I really get into it. So, um, Labembe Groas is really selling her Places of Vibrant's album, which was, um, you know, which she did in fall of 2012, but that, you know, was not popular, and she is doing whatever she can to get the mon money for it and make it very, um, you know, very successful and, you know, get people to listen to it and um, enjoy and appreciate it. So, Places of Vibrance, uh, the songs, um, to my memory, include, I'm trying to think of the songs, um, which would, the first one be, uh, the sea, the stars, the, um, wind, and the moon. I think it's another order. The seaside, uh, outdoor appearances, I believe, um, windmills in heaven, a key to veal, um, Spelled A K I T A V E A L, a key to feel. Um, I think that there's another one. I can't remember the name. Uh, you know, we'll do was Mad Matt Piat um, on the bilges. I can remember with Steam Twilights and. Gibberish. That was actually a type of the song. Um, so Julia Eskenroll will be coming here and will be explaining the backstory and background, and you get to listen to each of the songs. So I um I contacted her and she'll be here a little bit later. Okay. One of them is based on keeping up appearances. Now, um, so I had arranged for you to sing a song from Mulan. So I'm sure 
sure that you saw my pages on that, you know, that you see Mulan. Have you seen that? Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah I know. And, you know, unfortunately that, you know, because of the whole pandemic thing, I, you know, it was going to play on like the 27th of March, but, you know, I couldn't do that, which is a really important day. Um, uh, but I did see the original animated one. Uh, now I'm also asking you, um, have you seen Pocahontas? Hmm? Yeah, that's, that's a great one. Someday there will be a, you know, a live action movie for that, I hope. Uh, I really do. I can't wait to, you know, find out what's in store for that if it comes out. Do this whole thing's over. Um, so, let me think. Um, okay, it's probably not a popular one. Going Babs. That should be a question for her. Um, so moving down the list. So there is something that I want you to do. Remember that I haven't been mentioning it, but there is a reflection on all of the ice spots. So there is um, the reflection of all of them, not season seven. Uh, specifically, but of the whole show, I didn't want to give you two. You would be answering the same answers on either both. So it's going to have season seven questions and information, just kind of the general plot of it. <laughs> and then it's going to go down, and then it's going to go one, two, so it's going to go season seven, season one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so the seasons are group 1 through 3, season 4, and then 5 through 7, and then season 8. See that pattern? So, that's what you're going to do. There's written questions and then multiple choice. The written or the you know, higher order thinking. Singing deeply, and then the comp questions are the multiple choice. Okay, so um, you know the directions on that are pretty clear, um, really, really self-explanatory. They're really specific and detailed, but uh, to the point and understandable. Okay. So, you will be going to a Bimby Bell Books here pretty soon. So, um, you'll be going tomorrow, right? Over there. Yeah, you're going to choreograph a dance based off of Mulan, which is the reflection dance. You know that, you know the song... Mm-hmm, do, 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 And, you know, actually, this amendment was listening to it yesterday. Um, do you know what I'm talking about? No. So, you know, she'll explain. She, um, you know, she's been teaching since 1995, so she's been in the business Kind of a long time, um, longer than Kathy. Um, so, um, reminder that Sad Tech Blender is open for Bimby Boo Bell and Bell Book today. All of them have different schedules. One week, you know, they might have days for Tech Blender and days that they're not having Tech Blender. 
Um, but you are basically working towards Sagittarius season. So, what we're going to be doing is in November and early December, that will be the period we'll, we'll really embrace because that's when we're most excited and, you know, alert to the Sagittarius season is the beginning of it. We will go on the adventures and everything. And then, um... We will then transition into the online virtual traveling vacation to different places around the world, you know, any place. And then uh, there's certain things, you know, there's a big, you know, project going on with that, you know, that I'm going to explain. I don't have anything up there yet. I'm still thinking of it. Um... But the last day, you know, those, uh, those online sites, you know, those online programs have to be done by, uh, you know, basically um, December 3rd. That's like the last day that, you know, all of you should have those done. So uh, I will really hope that when you're over there um, at... Um, uh, at the headquarters, will you know you go to those tech vendors that you're really, really working diligently and making the most of your time, okay? Because the time is precious, okay? Um, you can you know go there on your own, but with your kind look classes and everything going on with the Amentin, uh, it is really, really challenging. So, you know, time is you know time is money and it's gold. So don't take the time. Win, okay. Um, so, um, on December fifth, Lebembe Tenson. So that would be, uh, Julie Tenson Emeralds. You know, all the you know Lebembe and Lopez's are based off of their uh, middle names. Mine is, you know, I'm Lebembe. Uh, I'm Lopez Noel. Um, and then I um, mean, what's your middle name? So that would be your, you know, title, you know, Lobendi title. Lobendi is female and then Lopez is male. You know, there's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm going to be explaining and mentioning that you're not going to have an idea what I'm talking about. And, you know, it's going to be Joe Bush and all made up. Uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, hard, you know, again, um, you know, really too good to be true and very, very hard to believe. But in time, you're going to, you know, understand it and you know, kind of see, you know, what I see, it's kind of your own vision, um, but that's what always happens, and that's what I hear all the time, but, um, you'll, um, you'll get it. So just trust the process of everything, trust that, you know, I know what I'm saying, and, you know, it's right and, and accurate, correct, and all those things, you know, which, uh, you know, I'm sure that you would. Um, And you're wearing your, um, you know, your clothes that I, um, you know, asked, you know, about and have the feel cut and everything. Which is good, your, you know, your main appearance uh, on the show, your very first entrance. Okay, so, um, also, uh, on May 28th, Julia Eskin will post her swing album, Giant Slayer. Um, which talks about songs having to do with taking down challenges in life, like the whole, you know, COVID thing. A lot of songs, you know, there was one or two songs in that album based off of what's going on. Um, it takes the whole entire season, so usually by, the, you know, by it, an immutable, um, um, mutable sign in a... Uh, you know, in an equinox, she doesn't do spring and summer, only the, you know, the, you know, the, you know, uh, the, um, winter and summer, only spring and fall. So, um, Cheryl, uh, Cheryl, I keep wanting to say, uh, yeah. um, she will be, um, having lessons, dancing lessons, um, you know, to get kind of, you know, you know, good, um, 
you know, understanding and, you know, you know, uh, you know learning her style of how she does it uh, and how she teaches. And she'll be offering those uh, in two days' time, which will be today's Thursday, so it's going to be Saturday, Saturday. And on Sunday, there was going to be a resemblance prayer with, um, you know, two other people, but uh, I've decided to cancel that. And uh, with somebody in my family who you remind me of that I've only known once at a wedding, you know, two years ago, her name is Caroline. And um, I just want to ask you, do you have any... Asian heritage, any Asian background. 